In this video, we are going to talk about Pareto charts. We are going to see how we will create Pareto charts. Uh, you have to use the same TWB file which we created in our previous exercises. And then go to a new sheet, name it as DIY Vid 11. I'm going to do that. New sheet DIY Vid 11. Next, drag and drop the customer to the column shelf area and then sales amount to the row shelf area. Sort the customer in descending order of sales amount. So let's do that. So customer to the columns, sales amount to the rows, sort customer descending field sales amount sum click on OK next add a table calculation for sales amount to be a running total along customer access access on which customer is located so I'm going to show you how to do a table calculation go to the tableau this rows shelf area where sales amount is next click on add table calculation in the calculation type change it to running total summarizing sum running along change it to customer name add a secondary calculation for a percent of total so you can add using this checkbox secondary calculation type secondary type percent of total summarization again on customers so this is how your screen should look like running total sum customer secondary calculation percent of total and customer you can see it's changed create a calculated field from the analysis menu and insert formula index upon size and name the field as Pareto KPI so it's a ratio of index and size it's a function we are seeing now how to do that so from the analysis menu go to this create calculated field type the name of the calculation Pareto KPI and then type this index this is the index slash size which is going to give you the ratio for Pareto apply ok you can see Pareto KPI here next we're going to add this in the rows area sorry column area so drag Pareto KPI to the column shelf we're going to do that and then right click on the Pareto KPI to use compute using functionality to select the customer it's kind of complex let's see that let's start with dragging Pareto KPI to the columns shelf Pareto KPI to the columns shelf and then from here go to compute using I repeat Pareto KPI go to compute using customer name
Next, drag and drop the customer to the detail and sales amount measure to the colors. Let's do that. So the customer to the label, the detail, and sales amount to the color. Next, set the marks type as line. So going back here, I'm going to set it to line like this. And also, I'm going to drop the customer name to the label section. And you can see the Pareto analysis. Next, add reference lines horizontally and vertically should show 20% customer Pareto KPI and 80% of the running sum of sales amount. So what it means Pareto analysis is the top 20% of the customers give you 80% of the business. And this is what we are trying to achieve here. So let's do that. I'm going to add a reference line. I'm going to show you how to do that. Right click, say add reference line here. For now, forget about it and I'm going to talk about reference lines in the next video. But for now, I'm going to use constant and change it to 0.2. And then on the running sum of this is y axis, right click, add reference line and change it to 0.8, which is 80%. And there you go. So this is how you would do a Pareto analysis. Time to pause the video and be prepared to do the next set of hands-on exercise. Try doing this. Add a new sheet for DIY 19. Create a Pareto chart using the above method for item name. So replace cost customer name as item name and sales amount as co sales cost and do this the same kind of calculation and see if you if you have understood how to do Pareto analysis thank you for watching